Hey guys! Today we're gonna draw a cute harp seal in Procreate. Before we begin, you can download the tutorial files via the link below. If you like my YouTube videos, you can access even more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon page. You can check it out via the link below. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. Let me open Procreate and I will click on this plus icon to create a custom canvas. This time I will set the dimensions to 2000 by 2300 pixels. DPI is 300. As soon as we made the canvas, we can change its background color. And I'd like to use this nice light purple shade. After that I will grab color number 1 from the palette and basic fill brush from the set. This time we won't make it hyper realistic. So the brush I made has a very soft fur texture that will help us draw a furry character easily. Also we can use symmetry tool to make the process even faster. Let's activate it in the actions. We need to go to canvas, enable drawing guide and after we click edit, switch to symmetry. Let's set the brush to around 12% and start drawing the head shape. Let's make it big enough. And also I will make it more round on top and flat at the bottom. Since the brush is pressure sensitive, the more we press, the bigger texture we will get. Let's now paint inside. I will be just making strokes like this. Until I paint the entire area. We can make a few layers. So we can apply a clipping mask later. In the end we will get a shape like this, with a very fluffy edge. Before shading it, I want to add the facial features. And for that I will create another layer above the head and continue using drawing assist. I'd like to draw the nose. And for that I will select color number 9. Also go to ink inset and grab technical pen. Let's set the size to run 30% and draw the nose at the lower half of the head. I will first draw an arc starting from the axis and go into the side. Let's go up a little, then down, make a rounded corner and connect at the bottom with another curve. Let's fill the shape and adjust. I will just make the lines more smooth. The final shape will look like this. And after that we can draw the nostrils. For that I'm going to create another layer above this one and also get it assisted. So we use symmetry. We can switch to fifth color which is almost black and draw one nostril that will be reflected to the opposite side. Let's go up like this and make it wider on top. At the bottom I will make it curvy. Let's also fill the shape and it can be adjusted. I think we can shade the nose right away and for that I will create a layer above the layer number 2. Let's clip it and enable drawing assist. From the color palette I will select color number 10. Let's now go to spray paints and grab fat nozzle brush. Its opacity is set to 75% and I will set the size to around 4%. First go along the edges of the nose. Adding this texture. We can make the size smaller and add it at the bottom, just a little bit. Close to the edge we can press more to get opaque color. After that I will change the brush to medium hard airbrush from airbrushing. The size can be also set to around 5% and I will highlight the area around the nostrils. 
Let's go slightly up here and then just follow the edge, highlighting the entire area like this. Let me adjust it. I'll increase the size and with low pressure add it more. Ok, now let's go to the lay with the nostrils and grab a razor that we need to set to soft brush. With a size set to around 3%, I will erase the nostrils at the bottom, just a little bit, to make them even more highlighted. Let me go back to brush now and select technical pen from inking. I'm going back to the layer with the highlights and I will simply draw a line here in the middle of the nose. It will go down like this. Let me grab a razor set to soft brush and erase the tip like this. I will just make a smooth transition here. Now it is ready. And next I'd like to draw the eyes. Here we have two options. We can either continue using symmetry and draw two eyes at the same time, or simply draw one eye and then copy it. I will go with the second option. Anyway, we can merge all the layers for the nose and create another layer for the eye. As the base color I'm going to use color number 5. And technical pen for drawing. Let's first draw an arc going to the right. I will make it high enough and add a small curve in the end. Also connect these two tips with another curve at the bottom. But this time it will be smaller. Let's fill the shape and adjust the curves. I will just make them smooth. Now we can start adding the texture on the iris. For that I'm going to create a new layer above this one and clip it. In the color palette I will select color number 6 and go to abstract set from Procreate. Here let's select the brush called Stickman. It has color dynamics and a cool texture. I will just set the size to around 5 or 6% and tap a few times inside the eye until I like the color combinations. Actually it is barely seen, but it will be more visible in the end. So let's now change the color into number 7. And make more strokes. Mostly on the edge. Here we can make the size smaller. And apply the texture like this. We can make a few strokes inwards. Let's also try to add color number 8, which is darker. I will apply it on top. Just a little bit. Now we can try to use smudge tool. Set to stickman brush. Let's set the opacity around 55% and size around 3 or 4. I will just make a few subtle strokes inside the texture to remove all sharp edges. Ok, now let's go to eraser and set it to medium hard air brush. Let's set the size to around 7% and determine the iris shape. For that I will erase the texture on the corner and make it look like a novel or circle. Also make a stroke on top like this. On this corner, where we can increase the size. And I will apply low pressure to make it soft. Also make a stroke here at the bottom. Alright. Now that we have the texture, 
we can try to add a highlight. But before that I will go to Warp tool and adjust the shape even more. Or we can try to use liquify in push mode. I will just drag the texture like this. So that I will get more perspective. Ok, let's not spend too much time on it. And next add the highlight. For that I'm going to create a new layer above this one. Let's also clip it. And go to the disk to pick white color by double tapping here. With the same stickman brush, I will tap a few more times on top of the iris with the increased brush size. After that I will change the layers mode to overlay. Let's now grab a razor that is still set to medium hard airbrush and erase the highlight on top to reveal the shadow. In the end I'd like to add a light reflection. And for that I will create another layer and switch to medium hard airbrush. I will just draw a circle here or it may look like an oval. Then I will grab a razor, switch to soft brush and erase it slightly at the bottom, just a tiny bit. Then we can set it to add mode and maybe apply Gaussian Blur to get soft edges. Ok, I set it to 2%. Finally, I will create one last layer and select Technical Pen from Inkin. I will just draw an arc here at the bottom, starting from this point and going up like this. After that I will also blur it at around 2%. Let me use a razor and just erase this tip to match it and blend it with the iris. Alright, now this eye is almost ready. Instead of merging all the layers, I will select them and group. Let's now duplicate the group. Go to transformation and flip it horizontal. I will be using magnetics to drag it to the left side. And keep the same distance from the nose. So I will place it here. Let's open the group. And go to the layer with the light reflection. I will just move it a little. without magnetics. So I think the eyes took most time of the drawing. Let me rotate it a little and place it like this. Let's flatten both groups for the eyes now, but still keep the eyes separately. I'd like to add shading around the eyes. For that I will create a layer above the head and enable drawing assist. First I will select color number 11, together with basic fill brush. We just need to make the size low, around 5%, and start adding the fur around the eye. This way we can also adjust the eye shape. So I will go to the right here, and then down. We can make the size even smaller to draw at the lower edge. Let me make a couple of more strokes. We can make the eye bigger and wider 
and after that I will change the color to color number 5. I will continue shading it like this, making strokes closer to the edge. And it will also work as lashes. Let me make a couple of strokes this way. Maybe increase the size a little. But at the lower edge I will keep it like this. More grayish. Just a subtle stroke here at the lower edge. Ok, I think it is ready. And if the shading didn't match with the left eye, you can go ahead and move it. After the eyes are totally ready, we can create a layer under the nose. Let's enable Drawing Assist. And also select color number 10 from the palette. I'm going to the Seal Brush Set to change the brush to Shading Fur. Its texture is slightly different. I will just set the brush size to around 5 or 4 percent and start making circular strokes like this. So this brush has more texture. Let's paint it like this. And after that change the color to number 11. I will make a few more strokes going up. With low pressure. Let's now go even darker and select color number 4. I will paint here under the nose. And more in the center. Finally I will select color number 9, which is even darker. And make more strokes under the nose like this. To add the cast shadow. We can try to press more here. And after that pick the color right from the head. I will make strokes here at the bottom. And then just blend all these colors together. This is the result. Now we can continue and shade the entire head, but before that we can draw the mouth. For that I'm going to create a layer below this one. And select color number 4. I think we can also enable drawing assist. Go to airbrushing. And pick medium hard airbrush. With a size set to around 10%, I will start drawing like this. Make a curve here at the bottom and paint the area going up. We can now grab a razor set to soft brush. And erase it under the fur. We can darken this area in the middle using color number 5. I will just draw slightly like this. After that select this light color. Make the brush size low. And just draw a subtle arc. Maybe we can lower the opacity. And draw more like this. To highlight the lip. Now let me select color number 11. And shade in fill brush. 
I will create a layer below this one. Set the brush size to around 5% and start adding fur texture. Just draw in like this. I think we could actually use drawing assist here as well. Let me make a few more strokes. So it looks like a shadow. And I think we can smudge the edge of the mouth a little. So let's click on the finger and grab soft brush. I will go to this layer and start smudging the edges slightly. Just making them softer. Alright, I think he looks very cute. I think I will go to the sixth layer and make it smaller using warp. This way will make the seal more cute. After that I will fix it. Just add in more shading. And I think we can add more light color. Ok, now that's much better. And I will also fix this furry part under the mouth. So let me go here and use the razor set to shade in fur brush. I'll just erase it like this. Alright, once it is done we can shade the head and for that I'll create a layer above it. Let's clip it and start with color number 2. I'm going to use this first shading brush. We can set the size to around 16 or 17 percent and opacity around 75 percent. Start making strokes around the head like this. Applying low pressure and adding the texture gradually. I will do it mostly on the right side. Making circular strokes. Ok. Enough now. We can switch to darker color, which is number 3. And draw more on the right side. To make it even darker. Also at the lower edge. Let's lower the size a little. And make a couple of strokes around the eyes. Like this. And here. After that I will switch to the light color. And highlight the edge like this. So the head will get volume. Let's work here on the chin. Blend the colors and I will highlight it this way under the lip. With the lower size I will make another stroke around the eye to add this highlight. Same on the left one. Now that the head shading is ready, we can draw the whiskers. And for that I will create a layer above all layers. Grab color number 4, together with single hair brush. 
the brush size can be set to run 23% and I will draw a few arcs on the right side first. Changing the pressure. Then on the left side. I will make them thinner in the end. Now we can grab a razor, set it to soft brush and erase the tips. Just make them drown in the fill. After that I will go back to brush and draw the whiskers here. Also changing the pressure and making them curvy. Some of them can be bigger and others shorter. Now let's go to the right side and draw something like this. They may intersect and go in different directions. I will also make a few smaller strokes. And then also erase them on this furry part. I think we can make them even lighter, so I will increase brightness. Now let me create one more layer and place it below this one. With the same color I will change brush to shading fur. Set opacity to around 65% and make the size very low. 2% is fine. I will make strokes like this, from where the hair grows. Also on the right side. We'll get something like this. And now the head is totally ready. I think I won't merge all the layers. I will just merge these two with the fur. And to make the texture more visible, we can go to adjustments and adjust curves. I will drag this slider inwards and this one. So the fur will look like this. You can also go ahead and try to increase the sharpness. It is also here in adjustments. I won't spend much time on it. I will just finish the body. And for that I will create another layer below the head. Let's also start with the first color. And basic fur brush. Actually we can activate drawing assist here. To use symmetry. I will increase the brush size to around 17 or 18 percent and make a stroke like this on one side. We can adjust it and then paint inside. So with the symmetry it goes twice faster. We just need to paint the entire area. And then create a layer above. Let's clip it and change the color to number 2. Also select another brush that we used for shading. I will increase the size and start making strokes like this, going to the side horizontally. I'm not pressing too much on the pencil and blend in all the colors. So the fur texture will look like this. Now we can switch to a darker shade, which is number 3. I will apply it here on the neck to add the shadow. Let's go to the right side. Make a couple of more strokes 
also blend the colors and I will darken the right part a little more. Just making strokes back and forth. After that I will go back to light color and highlight the right edge, making strokes like this. They may also go horizontally with a smaller size. Let me increase it and make a couple of strokes on the left to make it more highlighted. Alright. Now the seal is almost ready. I think I will just change the shape a little. So let me go to the layer with the base fur and use warp. I will just drag it a little to the side. Ok, now I think that's better. We can remove the drawing guide from here, it's this axis, and finish the seal by adding some cute detail. This part is absolutely optional, I just want to make the character unique. So I've gone ahead and prepared a file with a bow tie. It is 100% head drawn. Let me place it here. And if you want to make it a girl, you can put it on the head and change the color, maybe also add a pattern. Since it is a boy, I will place the bow on his body, somewhere here. And to blend it with the drawing, I will do this, go to the layer and add a layer mask to it. After that I will grab black color from the disk, together with shading for brush. The opacity can be set to around 85% and I will make the size low. Just go along the edge like this. It will look like we are erasing it. But actually since we are working on a layer mask, we are not damaging the bow at all. So if something goes wrong, you can always go back to it. I will also make a stroke on the left side. Maybe a few more. Just continue until you like the result. And it is fully blended. Ok. After we did that, we also need to add the shadow under the bow. And for that I will go to this layer and create another one above it. Let's also clip it and set to overlay mode. I will grab black color from the color disk. And actually here we can use soft brush from airbrushing. Just to make it gradual I will lower the opacity to around 75%. And the size can be set to around 11%. Let's start adding the shadow. On the neck first. Here I will lower the size and shade the area under the bow. The color will be revealed only on dark areas. And if you have absolutely white color here, you won't even see the shadow. That's why we applied the fur texture bit before adding the shadow. Let me go to the right side a little. I'll shade it even more. And actually we can use the razor which is also set to soft brush. I will just make it softer. On this side as well. Let me check it out. And I think now the drawing is totally ready. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also access tens of other tutorials on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.